Hey everybody, Big Daddy Biggs, West Louisiana Bee Farm, and I got my smoker lit. We're going to go out here to the bee yard. We'll do a real quick overview on how to start a uh, Sam Comfort Hive with a package of bees. And I'm going to show you what I did, and it seems to be working out. Come on out to the bee yard. So this is the uh, Sam Comfort Hive. We're going to open it up, but very quickly, and give you a peek inside. But what I did is I've got two boxes here, one on the bottom, one on top, and the one on the bottom has a screen on it. Let me see if I can get in close enough where you can see. It's completely covered with a screen. I just opened them up this morning, and I put a queen cage kind of on the front. Uh, it'll slow down robber bees, but it'll it should stop the queen in case she's not ready to stay here. But uh, real quickly, yesterday I peeked in, uh, just lifted the uh, the feeder on the top there, and they were all well not all, but the 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 bottom part of the feeder was full of bees, and they were just a buzzing. So it told me that yesterday they weren't quite ready to make this their home. I hope today's a different story because there are no bees inside under the uh, the uh, the feeder. So let me lift it up real quick and show you what's going on on the inside. So hopefully you can see that. I can't tell if you can or not. But they seem to be getting kind of housey in there. Uh, looks like they're kind of starting to festoon a little bit okay what I did I took about four frames from a, a five frame nuke and I caught the queen I put her in a little cage uh, just to hold her up for a little bit I'll show you it's right here let me grab it I put her in that and I just kept her in that until I could get the bees transferred from the nuke into here. I just shook them off in here. There was no comb in here or anything like that. All, the, all that I had were the skewers across the top and shook the bees in there, put the Reflectex down. I even lined, as you can probably see, I lined the edge all the way around with Reflectex just to make sure it was sealed off properly. So that was on Thursday afternoon. This is Monday morning. It's been more than 72 hours, and I think, I think they're going to stay. There's not a lot of traffic coming in and out since I pulled the screen off. Oh, and that, and that was another thing. You've got to put a screen on it and seal them in there for at least 72 hours. That way, because see, they, they came from uh, that hive right there. So you can see that it's not a big distance. They need to forget where they came from. And that's what 72 hours is supposed to be the magic number. We'll see if it is or not. I tried this last year and it didn't work out because uh, they were just addicted to the place that they came from. So when I pulled the screen off last year, they went right back to their, their original spot. And then I had I lost a queen because the, the new queen had already been started making. So I ended up losing the queen in the process. Anyway, uh, there's no, no traffic coming in and out. I think I've had them in here long enough this time. They've got feed inside. There's no bees coming in and out. And we'll check back in a, in a few weeks and see how they're doing. But this is how you do it. You dump the bees in. You put a queen in there with them and lock them up for a few days. And uh, don't let them get in and out. Make sure you got some feed on it. And that's it. Talk to you guys later. Hope you enjoyed the video. Like and share it if you don't mind. Or comment if you have any questions. I think I covered everything. But uh, I know me. <laughs> I probably didn't. Okay, bye.